Okay, that's a bulkhead all sort of sealed up. Um, so I'm going to give it a paint now. Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, welcome to part two. Uh, so yeah, the PDM is sort of in this place now where it's going to live, it's new home. Um, so I've had to get some additional bits for the PDM. Um, so I've got the Yang data hub. Um, wall plug in here will be the rear module, smarty cam, tire pressure sensor and a few other bits. But that's that's the, the sort of data hub. Um, going to put that somewhere there. And then we've got the rear module um rio module which is a where all the switches going to it so this will be switched to earth um so yeah the things like wipers lights and so on will be in there and that's gonna go kind of there next to the pdm and then i have to get this uh which is the ecu bridge um comms cable which i've got two of those now which they will both all go into this uh, black socket Actually goes really nicely there, and then it connects the wall line up along there. The data hub, I'll just put there. We'll have to screw it down with some six bolts. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to the shed. Okay, it's time to start getting these wiring looms made up. I'm going to start with the most important wire, which is a 12 volt feed into the PDM. Um, I'm using the 4 gauge rolling wire. Um, just about to crimp this down. There's the connector that came with the PDM. It's a Rosenberg connector, swivel, and the other end just an M6 um, lug, which is going to the power point, a 12 volt power point, which comes from the, come from the battery actually, and that will plug onto that, which is like a f main fuse for the car as well. Good, solid crimp. Scary side, should be okay, I hope. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, solid. The other side. Anyway, right, let's get the sheet shrinked up, ready to go. The batch not connected at the moment. Um, anything, anytime you do anything like this, you must disconnect your battery just in the case. Really secret to do just a little bit by little bit. Don't overwork yourself with this, it's got to be done methodically. Electrics are for a lot of people hardest part of working on cars and yeah. But I'll tell you something, when you do some other like PDM and you understand how it works, it really helps you with your electrical side of a car, which is nice. Okay, I think it's now it's time to go back to the shed and uh, make up some of these wine looms. See you think. there. So I'm just going to thread it in now like that and push it through. Can okay, so that's a DL25 on. I'm not recovered just yet. Got to recover it all down. Okay, so that's almost done. Um, that's the sort of loom engine bay loom for the um, front lights, horn, and so on. So there's a sleeve going to go over there. One mil wire, and then spice off to 0.5 mil for the uh, five volt reference. Okay, just making these um, power wires here for the sensors. So a five volt 
um, and a 5 volt reference and a signal ground. So the oil pressure or temp share the same 5 volt and then fuel pressure. Okay, so these are the four channels, channel wires. Um, so I'll colour code them again. Okay, cool. Uh, channel loom done for the four sensors. So we've got five volt reference and five volt ground for the sensors and the channel wires. Um, so yeah, okay, good. that's it for today, guys. Um, be back again tomorrow. If we connectors and so on, to be here. What I need to finish these looms off. Um, they're going to go inside the DR25 heat shrink, and then this will go from the bulkhead down to the sensors. Cheers. Okay, just finish up this end of this loom for the. Um, oil pressure and oil temperature sensor, the Bosch one. So they're the pins now. Uh, so we've got sensor ground, uh, 12, 5 volt live uh, signal for the pressure, which is a red, and the temperatures are blue. It's getting pinned in. Okay, so it's time now to make the loom from the rear lights uh, to the PDM. And so they've spoken and cut down to the size of the length I need. And then the looms I'm going to use, so yeah, uh, great for side lights, pink for um, reverse, fog light, um, indicator, and brake lights. Well, let's get it cut down and into the uh, appropriate connectors. Okay, after a lot of cutting, connecting, heat shrinking, and all sorts of things, uh, these are wine looms almost done. So there's the engine bay loom. Just got connectors or wipers that now, but that's gonna be this loom here. This breakout here is for the sensors. Uh, oh, come on. So this will be for fuel pressure, oil level, oil temperature, and oil pressure. And this one here goes down to lights. So this is a loom for the rear lights. This is the breakout here, the two Dodge connectors. So this will run the rear lights. And then this is the connector from inside the car going down to the PDM. Okay, that's the uh, engine bay loom um, almost done. It's now time to start the interior loom, which is from the PDM to the bulkhead connector. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Um, so I'm using the um, T connectivity motorsport wiring. I think it's equivalent to Tesla wiring. So this is a 0.5 and then I've got the one mil which will be most of this, um, most of this one will be done with this. And that's from, you know, from here to here, inside the car. And then finish off with a nice, nice boot. And then some DR25 heat shrink. Uh, but I want to talk about the ECU bridge. Um, so this is the ECU bridge that connects the K-line, um, which my ECU outputs into a signal that the uh, PDM can understand. So yeah, they just use a standard five pin binder and then that goes into this connector on the black socket. And then the other one is for the um, data hub, which the camera, um, the Rio and other things can plug into. Okay, uh, start these looms then. I'm gonna start the headlights. Uh, so using a couple of 15 amp wires um, that we'll go into, which is the one mil, 1.3 mil I think actually these Tefsil wires are. And then they'll go into the um, uh, into the PDM. Um, I'm using um, the Deutsch Gold pins. Uh, uh, this is so this is the connect pin for the um, PDM, and then the Deutsch pins are these ones. Oh, able to set these no problem at all. And then I'm going to use these heat shrinks to identify the colour of each wire. Okay, so these are two headlight wires um, marked and ready to go. Okay, so that's a little more done, um, ready to get ready to be pinned into the into the connector. So we've got here the sort of spice of different looms. Um, so this is the um, sensor loom, the lights, and then the wipers. Um, the only thing I had to make separate was a loom for the horn and the uh, cooling fan, which is this one here. Um, 
so two wires will go into the cooling fan and then the two wires for the two horns. So let's get this pinned up and then shoot this down. Um, now it's time to get the um, to get the PDM side connected up. Okay, um, I'm going to make a change to the wiring loom for the uh, bulkhead. I was using, using this big single connector, and uh, what happens is on the engine bay side, um, it wasn't able to come out an angle because there was two looms going in, and it was too awkward to make them, um, you know, split off. In, in, in that, way, in that way across the bulkhead. So um, this connector is going, I'm going to replace it with two smaller connectors, uh, which will go side by side, and then, and then the looms can just branch off and go their separate ways, left and right. So yeah, these are the smaller uh, Deutsch connectors. Um, similar to all the sport connectors, which are obviously very expensive, these are just a smaller plastic version. Um, obviously take the same pins, uh, the DT pins, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put for a carbon plate and drill a couple of holes, put them through the plate, and then pop rivet this to the bulkhead. Let me get some holes drilled in this, and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's the plate made up, uh, the connectors in. Um, so I'm going to go and put it up to the bulkhead and drill the holes and get it um, onto the bulkhead. Okay, that's the looms almost uh, done. So here's the revised bulkhead connectors. Um, looks a lot nicer than the, the single big one I had before. So this is the uh, interior loom, going to the PDM connectors, and then the engine bay loom is here. Um, so one will go to the left and one will go to the right, so I can go around the uh, engine bay a bit neater. Um, just got to finish off the uh, two sensors, which will be the oil level and the uh, and the fuel pressure sensor. Um, the oil pressure or temp is already done. Okay. Cool. Just finish off this um, connector for the rear loom. So um, this dodge connector will go on here. It's gone to the bulkhead somewhere, and then the other side will go into the, the other side of the socket and then connect in. Right, let's get that done. Good old pop rivet. Oh, yeah, there you go. So that now will connect into there. And that is the rear light's done. Okay, it's time to mount the EC bridge. We'll put it about somewhere up there. It's got so much reflective, reflective gold stuff to sort some heat going back onto it. I'll just go on the back there. Okay, let's get this marked up. Okay. Look about straight to you, looks about straight to me. Okay. My favourite tool, well, one of my favourite tools. Cool, that ain't going nowhere. This has got nicely here, uh, just tie me into this um, bracket of what you got here, which is for the handbrake warning wire. So just uh, get that cover tied in there, and that's all connected up. Okay, so just finished off the connections for the uh, ECU bridge. Uh, there's a, the OBD cable comes out of that, and that will connect into my 38 pin round socket, has the adapter, and then the other side will obviously go into that OBD connector for the ECU bridge. Okay, so uh, I've got my first circuit working, well, actually my second circuit. So the, the PDM is on, um, the, the light there is just the ECU bridge. That goes into one of the power outlets. Anyway, let's test the lights are working. It's still all switched and mocked up here. Um, so I press that, we should get some lights, let's see what happens. Cool, lights are working. And when they're on, it shows me on the, on the channels there, that both are okay. So on, off. Just my proper circuit really working. I'm really happy with that. Got a few more to go now. Okay, so this shows the current load uh, for the circuit. So I've got headlights, left, right, and the side light circuit. Let's switch them all on, see what kind of current draw we get. 
that's really cool. Um, really cool. See the side lights there switching off the back. Yeah, really cool. Let's crack on. Okay, time to make the switch panel. This is my original switch panel. Um, obviously you can keep the hazard switch. Um, this would be the light switch. And then I've got three of these uh, push button switches as well. They'll be for the screen up and screen down. So previous, next, and the fog light. And uh, that's pretty much it really. And this is the switch for the heater, uh, interior heater. So that still works. Um, let's get some hold Jordan and get these uh, switches mocked up.